what is up good people fh nimble back on another one there's so much hype right now bro there's so much hype when it comes to alchemy stars right now so hey you know what i've been working on this video I'm, I'm gonna release it i'm gonna release it let's talk about team building gents let's talk about um generally what we want to do when it comes to team building how we want to think about it uh sort of what's the approach at least what's my approach my personal approach uh people are gonna have many 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 different approaches it's a pve game so yeah you know what you can play it at your own pace that's the beauty of it but here's what i'm thinking so i've done a little mathematics you know and found out that every single attribute has seven five stars almost every attribute has five four stars except for water which has six and almost all of them have four three stars except for forest which has five right and then when it comes to six stars water has six thunder has four forest has four and fire has five now when i'm looking at this in general it makes more sense to me that the way you want to build teams is around five rules right first your team needs to have between one and two six stars but there's a caveat i'm gonna to get to that in a second between two and three five stars one four or three star then we're gonna only focus so the second rule here is we're only gonna focus on two attributes super important so when you go back up to the one two two six stars remember that's across both attributes so you can have both of them in the water or you can have both of them in the other right so one or two this is important for resource purposes obviously later on as the game goes you can just build whatever you know you'll have uh, as long as you've built up your resources and you're pumping it into them it's all good but for resource management focus on two that's it then three synergy is the name of the game so if they don't synergize well enough they're not getting considered it's just it just it is what it is right and then both mono teams must also be good as a dual third team so whatever the two attributes you're picking and i'm gonna suggest something in a second but between those two those units should be able to blend and create a good dual team this is going to be really good for boss stages and things like that where you're just going to be completely counted if you're running a main water team or a main whatever team right super important and five they must be well balanced but not too slow man they need to be able to pump out some damage and do what they need to do now when it comes to the two attributes you want to actually pick to focus on what i'm going to do and what i suggest you consider doing yourself is actually picking not just any old element just because it looks cool but picking the element that directly counters the element that counters your main team right let, let me reiterate you're picking the element that counters the counter to your main team right so if your main team is water its counter would be thunder and to counter thunder you're gonna need forest so if you're gonna be water your main your main dps is coming from water teams you want to build a secondary forest team similarly if your main dps is going to be a forest team you want to build secondary water mainly because fire counters forest and water would then counter fire same same logic if you're running a fire main team you want to build a thunder secondary if you're running a thunder main team you want to build a fire secondary this by definition is just objectively more efficient because here's the thing at the end of the day you're either going to go even with your enemies or you're going to counter them but you're never going to be on the receiving side as long as you focus on two of the opposing elements when it comes to your main team what determines your main team is actually the six star unit you heavily want to focus on that's what determines your main your main team now you don't have to get another six star you could run one main six star that just does a lot of damage and then you flex him into the other mono team that you have right so he'll do damage on both sides and you just make him captain on the other side he doesn't necessarily have to be captain on your main team but he can be the main reason to do that is just that it's just a lot lighter on resources and a lot easier to sort of manage sort of have one six star kind of going in but here's the thing it's a gacha game it's basically a gotta catch a all situation basically it's pokemon so we want the six stars we want the five stars we want to be able to play with them we want to enjoy ourselves but here's what i suggest 
you're gonna have more fun if you can actually clear the game content so focusing on one or two high rarity units at any given point in time until you've built them up to the point of diminishing return then going on to your next best onto your next best just like that over time will have you build a much 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 better team more well-rounded and you'll actually have more opportunities to clear the game content faster and all that kind of stuff that would be awesome you're gonna enjoy the game more when you're actually winning all right let's jump into the teams dude let's actually jump into what you would actually be building you know um it's not a reroll guide by any means or any stretch of the imagination this is a team building guide and more more likely it's how to think about approaching your teams right um more specific guides will be released soon and once the game is out it's coming out bro it's coming out like in a few hours it's gonna be here more specific guys once you've tested the units really min max them yeah those really in-depth guides will come out but for now we're just really really just considering what the team should be able to do what is a well-rounded team and sort of like what we're going into man like you know i do so while you are re-rolling and you get some of these units you just have something to keep in mind that okay i'm rerolling for this person oh, i actually got this person it's actually a good account so you know whether or not it's a good account to keep you know what i mean all right let's say you wanted to start a water team right you wanted to have your main damage being from the water element that is fairly simple right so water is obviously going to be your mainstay type of team it's just it's just it's just stacked man so for the six stars you're going to be able to get oh also before i continue now there's going to be some really good six stars that i don't mention in the teams and the reason for that is because they're not realistic to think about them that way because they're not the first six star you want to max out anyway right they are nice to have you want them in your teams they make your teams much much stronger but they're not ideally the first six star you want to have or the first six star you want to max out you could but that's up to you continuing on all right so one first and foremost damage so for your damage you have a couple of options you have sharona you have colleen you have connelly connelly is obviously the og of damage when it comes to the water team so yeah the only problem is that the chances of getting her early game are unlikely so it's probably a mid game type of situation so yeah that's with connelly and so here's the thing if you wanted to go connelly in the game so in the game mid game you're sort of building towards connelly you'd want to get yourself a clicking um you'd want to get yourself a fillishy you'd want to get yourself even a missiony missiony as a four star right and then you want to get yourself hijacked now the reason you do this is because clicking gives you tile conversions right where he converts green tiles fellishy gives you a reposition and healing some sustain mission is just an all-rounder just allows you to continuously just pump out some damage while at the same time resetting some tiles you know what i'm saying so she, she's not doing a lot of damage but she's doing enough consistent damage and that's important because connelly's cooldown is around five rounds so you need that missiony kind of coming in every two rounds to just you know make sure that there's damage popping off you know clicking is giving you some fears which synergize with connelly because she also gives fears and then hydrate is there to make sure that everybody can attack twice because that's a mono blue team right that's his main reason now he does counter but this is not the super important part because you don't want to actually put too much resources into him so by definition his attack won't be that good which means his counter won't be that amazing right now here is where things get interesting you once you have that that that's the general framework of a solid team now for damage from Connolly's side you can then switch to colleen if you're running colleen you don't have to run Felici, but you can. So you have the double reposition. But this is also a way you could slot in somebody like Noah in there. You could slot in somebody like Kuma and Pengi in there. You could slot in somebody like Zoya in there. The whole point is that your team is getting some sustain, some buff, you know, something to sort of keep them alive and, and keep them going. It just depends what you have and what you sort of want to do, right? And then um when you're running colleen instead of missiony 
you want to run or maybe just keep your vice or run somebody like uh corax if you if you if you're not running fellowship sheet for example because Corex will also give you another teleport with some damage and that type of thing. The reason you want to run somebody like your Vice or Corex is mainly because you want to get some more consistent damage out. Carleen is good, but the problem is that she has a four round on her cooldown, but she's mainly at she tile converts and then does some damage. Not the most damage in the world. While her uh, her stat values are above average not the most consistent so you do need a little bit more damage in the team just to make sure that goes well right carleen will get the synergy with click and when it comes to the fright debuffs so she'll do more damage there because she does additional damage with normal attacks to enemies that are that are that are debuffed so that's good there vice will obviously just get value out of um anyone like your clickens and whoever now Here's the thing when you're running Carleen, the last spot on the team is literally a flex position because here you can run almost anything. You can run somebody who synergizes with Vice so you can get that Vice attacks up. Maybe you run your other element unit to get more damage out. Uh, maybe here you run another tile converter or something, something depending on whatever you need on your team at that moment. That is how you go about it. The reason this slot is open is because this is not a team that you, it can be mono, but this is likely a team that you want to make a somewhat duo by either removing Vice and the Flex to put in your other color. You know what I mean? In this case, Forest. Now, now that we've covered that, when it comes to people like your Bartons, now Barton is good. That gives you max cross damage, not back tile conversion. Slotting him into your team is a little bit difficult um, in this regard just because of his high 5 round cooldown. Not bad because all of the characters who do this sort of thing do have this high 5 round cooldown. Not bad but for the whole consistent damage and pumping it out type of situation, honestly you really just want to get get in there and get it going. You know what I mean? Just, just get that attack going, get that stuff moving. Now when you're running Sharona, as your main damage you basically having the same scenario as carleen little less synergy but sharon is more of a one-man army type of situation anyway right so you won't have to do much definitely best girl in the situation he has felicity now the next upgrade from felicity is Raphael, right Raphael, you lose the reposition but you don't need that if you're running carleen for example with Raphael, you get massive global healing and tile conversions that that's insane that is where i'm saying where you can slot in six stars where they're nice to have and they make life so much easier right you can also consider uh bethlehem teams with noah to do max hp healing type of things that is going to be insane as well so there's a lot of options man there's a lot of options there's no real definite teams that you need to 100 build i just think going through the synergies and also once the game is out and we can actually min max some of this stuff and i can bring you a guide and when you're saying okay you know what you tried it this works really really well this doesn't work at all you know what i mean but they made them so balanced honestly the characters in this game are so balanced it's hard to choose one over the other because you could almost run anything and actually do really well as long as they synergize and make sense and you invested your resources properly now when you're building a water team as we mentioned you're going to need a forest secondary right so on your forest secondary things we're going to keep things very simple you want to run damage one damage whether it's a six star unit whether it's a five star unit so basically you robin hero Megod, Megod and hero are both six star units robin being a five star unit either one uh you could even run jane um you could anything that gives you damage right because jane is essentially a weaker version of Megod, sort of without the teleport sort of right so now you just want the damage and then you want tile conversions that's it one damage one tile converter and then you just build around the team to fill it out so for example you would run robin hero Migod with either nikinis uh, sikare um 
and then you're gonna run with Sylvia. So Silva, not not Sylvia, Silva. So Silva will give you that repositioning tool, which is amazing because the next person who does the the repositioning on the forest team is Migod, and Migod is a six star. So Silva is going to be very good, and then as well as you have a flex point as well in there. So your secondary won't necessarily be full of forest but it will be made up of just a few key forest characters where you have a damage dealer some a tile converter and then yeah you don't have to worry too much about healing here because as long as you've built felishi in your main team felishi can just sort of move in between both teams that's the thing about felishi so because her healing comes from the turns not necessarily her acting right her heal is just universally passive she can just be in the team and your team will gain passive healing which is really amazing and you'll see units such as silver are great because you don't have to invest much into them and they ignore defense which means they're still doing that little bit of extra damage which is also really good now if you are going to do the opposite it changes slightly because here now you would want to actually build maybe something like if you're going to go forest main team and water as secondary First of all, your water secondary would be built for you because the game basically gives you a free water team at the start of the game. And then when it comes to your forest team, this is where it gets interesting. Now, I'm going to say Robin because of the events that are going on now, just to have her, especially early game, that's going to be good just because she's there. She will fall off a little bit because you're going to lose some copies, but by that point, we should be able to be able, we should be able to pull more Robins anyway. All right? So I'm going to say Robin, Hero, Yuria, Pact and Sylvia or Silva. Right? You can replace Robin here with Sikari. Um, if you don't have Robin, Sikari will be essentially tile converting. And Hero is the main damage here. And this entire team is based off enhanced grid synergies. Right? So that's the whole point. Now you don't have to run Pact. Um, you can run you don't have to run Pact because Pact essentially converts red tiles right so it might not be the most useful thing for you there it's just that she's a five star and she has a two round cooldown so it, it's it's good you know what i mean but here is where you can switch to some some big pp and go gabriel or nikonis right they will do the exact same thing just better and then you run Silver, and then only comes to Silver. Silver is just a teleport reposition type of person. And then you can switch him up with Migod, which is just a much more big daddy type of uh, character. You know what I mean? A big mommy, you know, whatever floats your boat. So basically, that's how you're gonna roll with it. And then as your secondary, obviously, I just said that they're gonna build it for you. So you just keep that team, keep it moving on your secondary with the team, and it should do fine. For the most part because you're going to be focusing on the uh, forest team the reason you're just going to keep the team they give you on the water side is because building a main forest team is actually not that easy right it's actually pretty difficult it requires a little bit of investment in terms of resource management and that kind of stuff yes the other forest team you can kind of go for if you have od is you go od and then you go lester those two with the poison synergies that they have are going to be good. Lester is going to give you an amazing return on the poison. Otherwise, Odie alone is just useless. But you pair Odie with Lester, yeah, you have a good team. And then you can effectively run anything on your three other points, right? Whether that's another, whether that's water, so that could be a duo team if you want to do it that way. Or you just run any, that all those other three points are flex. Whatever you think you need to sort of get by with your uh, OD forest team, right? So basically that, that covered um, uh, three of the event gacha characters, which was Noah, OD, and Robin, honestly. Um, Noah, obviously you could see where you could slot him in. Um, OD, you could see where you could slot him in. Robin, you could see where you could slot her in. I, I said him on all of those, I meant her. All of them is hers. Clayton is definitely going to be your MVP if your main damage is coming from the water side and you're following the system because he will actually convert green tiles and turn them into blue. Now, consider a duo team where you have Clayton 
and your green team converting the green tiles and then you can convert those green tiles to blue tiles allowing your blue team to do damage right so this is good boss stage wise you, you could kind of see how this would work out for you I think I'm just going to end it here guys because this is going to turn out to be a long video if I continue. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get to the thunder and fire combinations, but I will do that as soon as I upload this video, as soon as I edit and upload this video because I want to try to get this out today before the launch just to try to help a few people out. So what I'm also going to try to do is post a small little document of the thoughts I had in my process and the thinking of building teams and post that in the description for you guys. It might not be available when I post the video but it will be available eventually soon but eventually uh, I want to start immediately with the thunder and fire uh, video hopefully I can get that out as well before the game starts and then we can also go take a look at that and I'm going to try to get the document out as well before the launch we still have a long ways to go to the launch so it's going to be a hectic day for me yo that's it from me on this one check you guys on the next one hopefully it's in a couple of hours from now yo peace out